Alright guys, ZFR back here again today, and today we're talking about the division, and is this game going to disappoint and be trash like um, the rest of the Ubisoft games, at least according to um, you guys. Now before I get in this video, um, I just want to say I'm sorry if you guys are waiting on me to upload a Fallout video tonight, and it never really sold up. That's because after I did my live stream, you know, I got, I pretty much was getting ready for the next day. Got something to eat, got some sal, got, got my salary and stuff, all that good stuff. And I totally fell asleep on you guys. I'm not going to lie. I like crashed like at like 10 o'clock and I pretty much did not get a chance to, um, freaking upload like it's i could still but it's really late so i'm not gonna do that um but anyway getting into the actual topic of this video um the division is pretty much on the verge of coming out i believe it comes out sometime in march or possibly even february i know it's coming out early in some part in the early half of this year so yeah, it's definitely coming out soon. I can't remember the exact date at the moment, but it's soon. But the real question is, is this game going to be worth your money? Is it going to be worth buying? Should you even consider it at this point? I mean, it is a Ubisoft game, and we know how everyone feels about those. Now, me personally, I kind of like um, Ubisoft games. Like, I mean, I never really let my hopes get that high on them sometimes, to be honest with you. So I'm never really disappointed by them. Um, but that's just me with every game. I never get my hopes high for any game, to be honest. I just like to let a game um, impress me if it can. And that's kind of what I do with Ubisoft's games. And because of that, I haven't really been disappointed with too many of their games like everybody else has. But the Division, um, I will say... This game has gone through a number of changes since the first time we saw it, which is people's biggest complaint about Ubisoft games. When we see a game from them, um, when we see that first gameplay demo, it always looks amazing. And then later on, once we finally get our hands on the game, it's a completely different thing. And it's just not what they advertise and not what any of us want. Um... Now, th this looks like it may have kind of happened with the Division, or pretty much did happen with the Division. Now, one of the big things people have noticed about the game is that there is a huge graphical downgrade, it seems like. I I I'm not trying to bash the game. Like, the game world itself doesn't look that bad to me, but um, the freaking character models look terrible like i was look at the customization system it was trash i can't lie like the character customization where you're building your own character and stuff it looked like trash guys i just gotta say that i gotta admit it like the the face models were awful um just all of it the hairstyles they they weren't horrible but i've seen better like it, it was just bad it was really freaking bad man um so yeah like there's definitely some stuff worried to be worried about in this game. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say this. I don't think The Division is going to be a bad game. I think it's going to be a fun game. Um, but I think it needs to do certain things right. Like, a game like this needs to keep a... Once it gets past a certain point, you need to keep the game with a steady flow of content with a steady flow of DLC. This is something, like, this game is very similar to Destiny and Structure, which I know worries a lot of people. But, um, Destiny actually, the, the, um, freaking Structure of Destiny are what Destiny is supposed to be, at least. Or what they advertised, um, for that game was freaking brilliant. And, like, the Division looks like it's kind of a way better version of Destiny without aliens and without, um, alien worlds and all that stuff. Um, like, the Division looks like it has a lot of potential just like Destiny does. Like, it's kind of doing that same thing that we all wanted Destiny to do. Like, the Dark Zones and all that looks awesome. Like, the weapon looting system looks great, too, and all that. Um... No trading weapons, uh, again, like, 
I, I mean, I said the same thing about Destiny. I get why they didn't put it in the game. They want you to earn your own stuff, and they don't want you to trade trade weapons like crazy with other players, and you know, end up getting all the good stuff way too fast in the game. But um, at the same time, to be honest with you, it wouldn't be a bad thing. Like sometimes that just adds to player interaction more. Like. I mean, that would probably stop people from, like, slaughtering each other a lot more in the dark zone. It, hey, instead of me killing you and taking your stuff, maybe I can trade something with you. Um, and we can work together or meet a mutual agreement or something. You know, like, that's probably never going to happen. Everybody's probably going to murder each other. Um, but, yeah, like, it would be nice to see at least an opportunity for such a thing, you know? Like, um... I, I'm just saying, it looks like there's a lot of stuff they could do with the game that just looks like it may disappoint. Now, they are missing a lot of parts of New York when it comes to this game. I know they're missing Bro Brooklyn, and there's a few other parts I can't remember exactly right now. But I think it's focusing on, on Manhattan mostly um, throughout the game, and maybe one or two other major locations in New York. Um, yeah, that's definitely a disappointment. Um, they never really did say or confirm that the game was going to take place throughout the in the entire New York City. They never did say that, so we can't really be too mad at them. But at the same time, they did they did kind of set it up to seem like this map was going to be absolutely insanely large um, that we can go across. And to be honest, I would like that to have been the case. Um, um, I would like an extremely large, almost Witcher 3 size New York map in terms of detail and stuff. Probably not around the same size, but in terms of detail, about around that size. I would love something like that, that um, you can roam through, find other players, find NPCs, find like little side missions or just freaking random event missions or whatever that just pop up. Um, find other players um, that you can work with or go into the dark zones. Like I was expect, and one thing I have to say, I was expecting there to be more than one dark zone. I was expecting there to be like, I don't know, like a huge map like I just told you guys. Now I was expecting there to be like, I don't know, three or four dark, dark zones. Like, I was expecting them to be, like, medium-sized areas, like, they are just spread out through the map, um, where you can go in and find all that good loot. I just thought that's what it was going to be, but apparently it's just, like, one really big area of the map, like, one big third, I believe people are saying. Um, now, from what I've seen in the Division, like I said, it does look fun, alright? Like, I've looked at it, and, like... From a visual standpoint, or like from like me seeing what I'm seeing, like it looks like the structure of the game is pretty solid, but we won't really know how fun it is until we play it. The one thing I see that I've seen that they kept around was like the um freaking long times to kill, like um. I do agree with that on other players, I don't agree with um them i like a lot of people want it to be like where you sue a guy like three or four times like in some of these early games and he goes out instantly no i don't really agree with that but i don't think it should be too long maybe like the same length as it is in like destiny maybe a few hit like two or three more hits than that like i really don't think it should like take like it definitely you should definitely never have to spend like more than a whole mag on an enemy but i'll tell you right now the reason they have to do that the reason that you that you have to pump all those bullets into those enemies like that is because the ai isn't that smart um because you know if the ai was good like you would have to be a lot more careful a lot more cautious around them because they would be able to do a lot more damage and they would be able to um 
have an easier time killing you and th therefore you will have a harder time killing all of them because it's more dangerous for you and therefore they wouldn't need the longer times to kill but and that's the exact same thing that happened in destiny um like even though in destiny i i only i think like the long times to kill are necessary for some enemies but at the same time like you wouldn't need them to be so ridiculous like if the ai was actually good enough to you know put up a fight like that's all i'm saying there um so that's obviously a thing but um yeah like i like i said i can't judge the game completely right now like i can only judge it by what i've seen so take everything you hear for granted so i know some people hear you talk about like definitely i've experienced this mostly with fallout 4 as you all know like people hear you say one or two bad things about the game or talk the truth on it and they think you're totally bashing the game. That's not what I'm doing. I'm going to give the division a fair chance. And then I'm going to judge it. Like after I've played the beta and stuff. I'm going to judge like at least. Um, I'm going to judge it by like a 50% ratio. Because that's the beta. They said. And it's like we're close to the release. They should have a lot of their stuff that they want together. At least somewhat there. Like. They, they should have it, like, in the state they want it to be in when it releases, or close to that state, at least. Like, it shouldn't be too far off by now. Um, but to be honest, I'm not gonna lie to the Division, it kind of seems like another game that really could just use another year, maybe even two, of development. I'm really tired of them just announcing these games too early and... And at the end of the day, they sort of waited like one or two more years and just kept work, keep working on a game. Like, in my opinion, a game should have at least, it used to take at least three years to work on a game. I'm sorry, but like, some people aren't going to like that because obviously that means l less games, like no Call of Duties every year and stuff, or freaking um whatever comes out every year, no Assassin's Creed every, every year. Like, I, I don't know. I guess two years isn't bad either, but like three years by, by the end of three years, like you've had time to polish it, you've had time to get it where you want, like you've had that time. Um, like at the end of one or two years, like you're kind you kind of just barely meet that deadline. I feel like it's or at least that's what it seems like every time we get a game from these dudes, like that's what they make it seem like to me. Um, but, like, yeah, like, like I said, not, not trying to throw any hate on the division. I think the game's going to be good and everything, and I think I'm going to enjoy it, but at the same time, I am a little worried about. The beta comes out for Xbox One on the 28th, and for PS4 the 29th. I believe that's next weekend. I, I don't have a calendar nearby right now but i'll check it out for you guys but yeah like so we're about to find out there is going to be the vision beta gameplay on this channel you're going to see it um, i might live stream it and stuff for you guys um and we'll just see how it goes like hopefully it's good guys like hopefully i really want this game to be good because i i just really want um all the things they're advertising here to be a reality but anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to leave likes and comments down below and tell me what you guys think and i will see you guys on the next video zfr out guys